Hi everyone, my name is Megan Gilbert. I'm a realtor and an associate with Terra Firma Global Partners. Today I'm going to walk you through a home in Ulta Heights. It's located at 231 Burna Street. This is a wonderful home and for a lot of reasons. For starters, it's within really easy and quick walking distance to places like the Oxbow, CIA, and downtown Napa. But even though it has that really fantastic access to all of those places, it also has a wonderful sense of privacy and seclusion. The home is set back from Burna Street and has a number of wonderful, mature birch trees on the property, giving it an almost private retreat-like vibe. This home also has a flexible floor plan with lots of different living areas, giving you lots of different living options. So if you're someone who, let's say, for example, hosts guests often, maybe from out of state, or maybe you have family that lives on the East Coast, um, when they come to stay with you, you can be rest assured they'll have a lot of comfort in this home when they're, when they're visiting. And one of the greatest features of this house, or one of the really nice, there's lots of nice features, but one of the nice features of this house is the backyard and the back deck area that's got a built-in fire pit, and that's where you can relax after the day is done. And so we're gonna walk you through all of those things and let you take a look at all of these different features of this house. Anyway, with that, let's take a look around. We're gonna just head up these steps these bush line tree steps to this sidewalk here um, where you've got a little bit of a yard space on either side of the sidewalk. There's one of those beautiful birch trees I was mentioning. And it's a gorgeous day today and you can just hear the breeze blowing in those trees. Here's another little side yard as well. Keep going closer to the house. Okay. And we'll take a look inside. Right. Welcome to 231 Burna Street. When you walk in, you walk into a main living area and as you can tell there's a really high ceiling in here and lots of windows and just lots of light so let's just take a look Now this house is about 2,300 square feet. I believe it's 2,293 to be exact. And it is four beds and three full baths. So let's start to take a look at those. We're gonna continue the tour by going off to the left of the living area into this first room, which is set up right now as sort of a study but could also be, but is also a bedroom. And let's just take a look inside. Lots of great windows, great light. There's some really beautiful jasmine out there that's in bloom. I'm sure that smells amazing. One of the things I love about this house is that every room has lots of windows and lots of light and it's really, it's just really lovely. So there's our first room and let's go down this hallway. Okay, there's a closet right here, just to the right. And you saw the closet in this room as well. But let's go down the, go down the hallway next to our next bedroom. So at the end of this hallway, we come to a bedroom. I'll just go ahead and take you through. Um, just a nice bedroom space. And what I love about this bedroom is that it's, well, it's got all these great windows. 
It's got all this great light in here. It's just really serene. So you can sort of start to see the backyard out there, the back of the property. Um, and it's got this great door. So whomever is sleeping in here can just walk out there after they've made coffee and sit down and relax. But you've got a great bedroom here. And then as we leave the bedroom, there's that closet I was showing you. As you leave the bedroom, there's a bathroom right here. So if this were a guest suite or if you wanted to use this for guests, um, they've got a bedroom and a bathroom right next to each other. Or maybe you have uh, an older child who's living in here, but they've got a, ba a bathroom with shower and bathtub right there. So there's the bathroom. And then as we go back down the hall again, there's that first room we were showing. That serene study area or reading area. And we're back into the living room. All right, next let's take a look at the kitchen. So again, we're in the, the living room area. And if you head off to the right, we've got the kitchen right there. Okay. So really clean kitchen with a lot of working areas. Uh, there's this island right here in the middle. You can get a couple of bar stools in there. Great place to sit and have your coffee or your breakfast or your glass of wine. Um, also a nice dining area. And again, just, it's so serene in here. You can hear birds and everything is next to a window or near a window. And you can see green, greenery and trees and it's just really lovely. So I like having those windows in here. I like that idea of bringing the outside in, especially if you're in the kitchen a lot, like I am. Um, do a lot of cooking, spend a lot of time in here, and it's just nice to feel like you're, you can get a little piece of outside while you're inside as well. Now we're gonna walk down this hallway. Since we've seen our kitchen, we're walking past the refrigerator. Uh, first, before we get too far down the hallway, we've got a couple of storage areas or storage closets here. Uh, let's take a look at what's inside this first one. This is a really deep storage closet. I hope you can see that from the shadow in the closet. But lots of space in here, lots of room to store pantry items or all your kitchen appliances. Uh, lots of room in there. To our left, we have a laundry room. It's nice to have this right off the kitchen. Um, great little laundry room right here. Want you to see all that. Again, windows everywhere. I feel like that's the theme today. But then moving on, we've got this great room, which I just think is such a cool room. Um, let's walk out here. So we're in this little nook over to my right is a door, that door leads out to the garage. And then to the left, you've got your water heater, your electrical panel, all back here. But this is just a really quiet, let me go up these stairs. Oh, I just think it's such a, no, it's just such a cool, it's just a cool room. Um, you've got this quiet, I don't know if you want to call it a den. It can be so many things. Um, it could be a, a bedroom. You can put a bed in here. It could be a, like a play space if you have young kids. It could be a TV room. Um, it could be a billiard area if you play pool or have kids that like to play video games. It could be a game room. So it's just great. There's just a lot of flexibility with it um, in terms of how you could use it. So let's start to head upstairs. Um, let's take you for a little walk so you can see both of these bedrooms up here. Um, like I said, they are both en suites, so they have a bathroom. Both have a bathroom inside the bedroom. And here's our first bedroom. Okay. So really quiet, and you can just see out of every window, you can see trees and greenery, and it 
it's just really peaceful. It's a really peaceful room. So we've got a bedroom here. Over here is a bathroom, right here. We've got a double, two sinks in the bathroom. Bathtub there. As I walk in, let's show you the shower. So bathtub and then shower is right here next to it. And I've got a, got a closet here with some space for whatever you need to store inside the bathroom. And you can see there's more storage out in here in the bedroom. There's a couple of little storage areas, a nice little nook where you could put a chair. Uh, I could certainly see that being a favorite spot to start the day. And then off to the right here is a door that goes out to this little patio outside. Um, so in the winter, this can be where you start the day. In the summer, when it's not raining, it could be here. Let's, um, let's take a look outside and the sun has come out. So we get a really nice feel for what it's like out here. All right. There's this patio outside, so that's the next bedroom we'll go to in a minute. There's this great seating area out here. I could certainly get behind sitting out here and finishing up the day and just listening to the wind blow in these trees you've got up here. So, Walking out of that first bedroom, again, we're at the top of the steps, right there. Okay, and got a little, another just a little flexible area here. If you wanted to put a desk in that corner or, you know, make it a reading nook. Um, lots of ways you can use this space as well, but always good to have the options and flexibility. And then we'll walk into the next, the next ensuite here. Okay, again, just lots of storage. It is really quiet. You see all these beautiful trees. I sort of think of this as like living in a tree house a little bit. It's just very peaceful. Let's just give you another perspective of this room. So you can see it from another angle. All right, I have been talking about this back yard and all these trees and all this greenery, the whole tour. And so let's go out here and let's see what, see what it looks like. So it's just beautiful. It's so quiet right now. Beautiful trees, bushes, and there's this great fire pit um, on this back deck. Let me walk back a little bit but talk about just a really nice area to sit and hang out at the end of a day. You can sit there and relax back here, make a fire, and this is how you could wind down every day. With a little outdoor dinner, some patio eating, it's just lovely back here. I'm going to take you up these stairs and we're just going to go see this sweet little yoga hut back here. That's what the prior, the folks who lived here before used it as a, just a little private, private area. Uh, maybe it's for yoga. Maybe, maybe you like it for, you want a place to journal. Um, maybe you find another use for it. Let's open this up. And just let you see inside. Okay. Already got a yoga mat in here. If you would like 
to imagine yourself doing a down dog. We've got a great place for you to do that. But obviously can be used for a lot of different or other purposes as well. I thought we'd end this virtual tour with just one more look at the backyard. Let you enjoy it for a couple more seconds. Uh, this home is being offered for $1.0951,095,000. And if you'd like to see it, I would be glad to show it to you. You can uh, send me an email or give me a call. Um, I'll drop my contact information in the comments below. And yeah, thank you for joining us today.